Well, Master, a lot of mm. people are blaming Islam for encouraging war and violence, especially because in the Quran there are mentions of violence. For example, there is a verse that says that、um, those who kill for Allah can go to heaven. Master, could you please share your thoughts on this? Ah,、uh, yeah, yeah, yes, uh, yes. Uh, by the way, I have checked on it with heaven. I, I went to the Akif. Oh. Of the Second World to check out what is written in the Quran. I mean, oh wow, truly written. What is truly from the Prophet?、Um, is is in the chapter of the saying of of Muhammad. It says some of the violence、uh, sentences. Somebody put it there. It's not the、oh. Prophet, peace be upon him,、uh, has said something like that. He. he He even have pity on a lamb or any animals. He doesn't. He tell his cousin not to eat meat and all that. And he meditate only, and he only take care of his people. How how would he ever say such thing like that? And I check it out. I have written a note somewhere here. Let me let me look for you. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Okay, I have a note here. I have written because I went to check because I also need to know for sure. <laughs> okay,、uh, people blame、uh, blame the Islam, but Islam actually means peace, yeah. And whenever the Islam people, Muslim people, see each other. They always say, "Peace be upon you." Yes, Master. Salam halikum. Right. Right. Yes, Master. That that means peace be upon you. So how can a faith that always wish peace on people would wake war? Do you understand the contradiction? Yes. Yes, Master. Yeah, physically speaking, and when the prophet. Peace be upon him was alive. He never encouraged. He never encouraged war. He never encouraged killing. But only whenever anybody, by the way, died because of persecution, then he say, "Okay, if you die for God, you go to heaven." That's for sure.、Huh? Any religion would say the same. If you die because of God, because you believe in God, then you go to heaven. But not. If you kill anyone, then you go to heaven. It's not like that. I went to heaven and check. Here is what heaven. I quote what heaven say, heaven say. Quote. I quote. Do not smear the honor of the great prophet Muhammad by violence and hatred in his name or in the name of Allah. Anyone does will not go to heaven, but be punished accordingly in hell. The prophet was of peace reincarnate. Islam is peace symbolization. So there is no violence in the Islam religion. Okay, unquote. That was a, a warning to anyone who used Islam to their own、uh, power, hung, hunger, or some 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 gain, a personal gain. Okay, because this is okay. In my opinion, suppose even if、uh, you're not Islam, suppose somebody who's good all his life and do good to other people, who's loving and kind, but doesn't know the name of Allah and doesn't worship. The name of Allah is he work, worship God, a Buddha in his own way and be good. How would Allah would put him in hell, or, or or tell anyone to kill him? Understand me? Yes, Master. Because Allah I mean God. What kind of God would do that? Huh? Even we human、right. don't do that. How would a God punish anybody who doesn't know to worship Him? Any Catholic who worship God in his own way. Any Buddhist who worship Buddha in his own way, any Jain of 
believer who worship God in his own way and any Hindu who worship God in his own way and doing good things according to his religion, you know, be good, do good. How would Allah, even if Allah is another God, how would Allah punish him? Huh? Or tell, tell his believer to go kill that guy because he's not, he's not saying that he's Muslim or he's saying he's a Catholic or he's a Buddhist or he's a Jainist. You understand me? Yes, Master. Yeah? Would Allah, any God, would ever do that? No, Master. No. Even we, a lowly human, don't do this thing. Hmm? No, Master. Okay, so anyway, that's my opinion. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so the reason why there are such sentences in the Quran, I'm coming to it now. Okay. Uh, you can remember that uh, some newspapers and some people spread bad things about me, which I don't even do. I don't even know that I ever did. Yeah? Yes, Master. For example, they say I take money from, uh, from you guys or from disciples. This is uh, the, the, the opposite of it. Yeah? The opposite. It's the opposite, o yes, Master. Opposite is true. And I'm still alive here and I can't even, how uh, you say, uh, explain myself. I can't even defend for myself. How would the prophet, peace be on him, already ascend to heaven centuries ago? How would he defend himself? He never says such thing. And they even say, Buddha, eat uh, uh, pig feet. It's not true. It's this the, the, the mushroom that is the pig loves. They call it pig feet, for example. Yeah? And, 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 and Jesus Christ divides grapes and gives it to them in the original writing. And they uh, translate it, they say, Jesus uh, eat meat and divide fish and tell people go out fishing. It's nonsense. So the same with the Prophet Muhammad, God, God bless his soul, peace be upon him. Okay, now I tell you why. He, the Prophet, had never say about anything about violence and never encouraged it. Someone else added on in the Quran when they collect all the saying of the Prophet, after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, already ascended to heaven, long time afterward, they added on to encourage others to fight, and using the Prophet's name for their own gain. Because there is one person after he died, after the prophet, great prophet Muhammad died, peace be upon him, they put, he put violent words into it. Yeah, pretending. He's pretending to, to know all about the prophet himself. And he pretends that he's also a Muslim. Wow. Oh. Because after the prophet died, they collect, the disciple come together and collect this, his saying and put it into... Uh, one volume. And this guy pretended also he know the prophet somewhere and then know some of the things he said and then added on to it. Whoa. Added even long after that, even long after the great disciples of the prophet also gone. Uh, 40 years, okay, I have it even. More or less 40 years after the great prophet Muhammad has ascended to heaven. He wants to incite hatred among the Muslims to serve his power and greed. His name, even, he's an imposter. His name is Mustufa. M U S T U F A. Not Mustafa, but Mustufa. Yeah, T U. M-U-S-T-U-F-A. I have it written here. He's a politician and he's a secret advisor to the government at that time. Uh, yeah, he's a secret advisor to the prime minister, you know, so-called prime minister equivalent of that time. He's using, so they're using that to kill and imprison anyone against the authority at that time. So that's the fact. Wow. Oh. He used that to even control the Muslim. You see what I mean? And incite them for violence. And the, 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 
the people, the faithful at that time, you know, they thought if the master, the prophet said that, then they have to do that. And they just like uh, anybody they want to kill, they say, oh, that, that one is against the Muslim. He's an infidel. And then inciting hatred. Or they have this excuse to imprison this Muslim faithful and imprison him or kill him or kill them. Do you understand now? Yes. Oh, yes, Master. That is what it was. And then it continued like that and it's been collected in the Quran. And then there's how many of the, some of the Muslim believe that is the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, is not like that. Do not smear the honor of the name of this great man of God. Okay, now you know. Okay, huh? Wow, yes, Master. So, um, you, you remember in Hadith, it is said that Allah would never have mercy on anyone who has no mercy for others. You see what I mean? Yes, yes Master. So, killing any others is mean no mercy. So Allah would never have mercy on those people. So, and also, by the way, if, if we are Muslim and if we're killing each other, you know, different sects of Muslim, then outside people, even if they want to join Muslim, they be so scared. You see? Yes, Master. Should they join the Shia or should they join the Sunni or different other sects of Muslim? Because if you join this sect, then the other sect will kill you. If you join that one, this one will kill you. Even among the Muslim, killing each other. So how would anybody dare to join the Muslim? So this is a contradiction to the religion that you're supposed to uh, spread out, yes, and teach the people to do good. You have to be the example of peace and love, which is exemplified by the great prophet Muhammad when he was alive. Peace be yes, upon him. Master. Yes. So I think anyone who, who is so ze zealous about Allah, about the faith of Muslim, should stop and rethink again. That if we want to spread Islam into the world, let people believe in Allah, then we have to be the example of peace and loving. Who dare to join a religion when you could be killed any time? Because you can't prove your faith in God. Okay, nobody, no any God, no God, no prophet ever want to cause suffering to any of the children of God. And that is for sure. That is very logical. Okay? Mm. Yes, Master. All right. I just want to tell you this, to clear the name of the great prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. He is a great saint, great prophet great son of God. He has never, ever incited any violent thought or action among his disciples. Never encouraged it. He's a loving, kind, compassionate, wise, enlightened being. 